In today's video, you will learn how I'm going to relieve the pain and discomfort this client feels from a failed ingrown toenail removal surgery. The side of the big toenail is now curling and growing into her nail bed. I'm also going to tell you how to cut pincer nails to prevent injury and get the nails to stop pinching inward. So stay tuned. How long ago was that last pedicure? Uh, about a month ago. Okay. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe and click the bell to turn on your notifications to know when I upload my weekly video and be notified if your comment got the most likes and will be featured in an upcoming video. And how long have your toes been acting up? For those the one next to the big toe mm -hmm. for years it's just even unexplainable but over the years they have pinched more in it so a good six or seven years and do you have any idea of what you think might have caused it to start doing that uh, watching your videos not properly drying my feet off <laughs> Properly not drying my toes off. Oh, we're gonna like this, put that, and bend your knee. There we go. Feels pretty good, quiet. <laughs> I worked on New Year's Day though. What'd you do? Uh, I work at a uh, nursing home. I clean up. Oh. Housekeeper. Gotta keep it clean for everybody. They need ya. When you have toenails that are pinching in, it means the sides of the toenails are actually curling around and some of them can actually touch. Her second toe looks like it is touching and her middle toenail there, you can see on the right hand side, the edge is actually starting to curl under. So we're, we're going to trim both sides so we can then cut out the center. You have to do it a little bit differently. Um, you can't just go at a nail that it's pinched in from the top and squeeze down because you're going to be sandwiching all of that nail in between. So you need to be able to get the nippers underneath the center part of that nail to trim off the length. Stomach growling. <laughs> Does this one hurt you? Mm -hmm. Oh, if I try to mess with it. I look like I gotta go to the foot guy. I'm gonna let this get a little bit more soft okay. in the water before I clip that out of okay. there because I don't want it to hurt. I 
got my cousin Brain P out there in the car. Boy, we, we got off work. And, uh, He's sleeping yeah. out in the car? Yes. It's <laughs> like, cuz, you gotta take me out here. I was like, she's the only one that can help me. Aww. For real. Regular, regular people that do your feet don't know what to do with this. Well, hopefully soon there will be more people with extra education. Um, a lot of people are taking my online classes. Mm -hmm. So hopefully they'll be able to help. I think people have been conditioned for so long that they thought, well, there's just nothing you can do about it. Mm -hmm. And it's just not true. I get a lot of questions about what products are the best to start with at home. I do have several different kits. I have a regular pedicure kit a deluxe pedicure kit and a grand deluxe pedicure kit. So each one of those adds a few different tools. The grand deluxe pedicure kit comes with even the oil, the buffer blocks, the callus remover, and the applicator brush. So you can check those different things out on the site. And they're also great for Christmas gifts. Oh I think I'd be doing a good job. <laughs> yeah, you hardly have any excess cuticle, at least at the back. Get them shaped up. I do my mom's feet. Do you? Diabetic, so I watch your videos. Oh, you're so sweet. You know, I had a few more careful with those. Yes. Like, I don't want to do it like that. And you'll be able to feel from me the pressure and stuff. Mm -hmm. To know what's the right kind of pressure. I would be wondering on our little feet. Hmm? I would be a little wonders with our feet. We can watch your video for Have you taken some before and after pictures? No, no. Oh, I'm you should. Do that. I'm going to do that. Yeah, especially when I polish our toenails, all you can look all that in Who had bad bangs as a teenager? I know that I did, especially when I was like a preteen, trying to do all the trendy new haircuts and stuff. And my mom kept saying, you just have to train them to go this way. Well, when toenails are in the wrong position for too long, they get trained because there's now an actual nail group that's in the wrong place. So we have to get the edge of the nail to move and we have to recreate the nail groove. So we have to thin out the toenails, clean out the part of the nail that is growing in the wrong direction so when it starts to grow again it will be in the right position. Clients are looking for you. Join me. Do you have what it takes to help change people's lives? Join my network. I'll teach you everything you need to know. At the beginning of the video, when I was first having my consultation with the client, she told me that on her other foot, there's a little old blood spot that another nail technician went too low. And it is because some people would look at this toenail and think that it is too thick, so they keep going down and she nicked her nail bed with the electric file. But it's not. It's because it is pushed up and the sides are curled in. So you have to be careful not to remove too much out of the center of the nail.
straighten all the way out. As you can see that dent, she was able to get that nail out of there. That's how you were able to see. That's how bad it was. I yeah. needed some relief, but I couldn't do it myself. Right. Yeah, it's really curled yeah. underneath there. Gotcha. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel it. As it's bubbling, as it's bunching up. Yes. You know. It's probably like digging down into that nail bed. Now this is the toenail that was injured so I'm just feeling in between those two sides of the nail to make sure that I'm not going to trim any of the skin or the nail bed that is squished up underneath there. And again we're going to go from side to side and trim off the corner so I can access the center and then trim over to the side. Sometimes when I squeeze, it might push it down in there for a second. Mm -hmm. it, does it hurt real bad? Mm -hmm. No. That's why you should always let the foot that has the worst toenail soak for the longest so the skin is softer and the nail is softer so it does not hurt the client.
Do you feel any heat? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just, oh, oh, yeah right. that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's all right. I was just worried that I was creating heat and that's what was making you tense. That's okay. Tell your friend that you were coming. A common thing with pincer nails is calluses on the tips of the toes from where the nail is squeezing and pushing the skin. So I'm going to remove some of that excess as well. You probably saw it, the hard, darkish yellow skin in the before pictures at the beginning of the video too. So I'm just filing off a lot of this hard skin right here. Now with the big toe, when somebody is having an issue with the big toenail, I get a lot of comments that say, wouldn't it be better just to remove the toenail? No, that is exactly what happened in the first place and why she's having problems with her big toenail. So it is not always best to remove the toenail, but on her big toe, we're going to thin it out a tiny bit and I'm gonna get rid of the strength on the top of the nail right where it is curling under. So when she starts using a product at home, it's called nail mycosis to help keep the nail soft, that that nail will relax and it will uncurl so it's not digging into her skin.
this skin is what the body produces to form a protective barrier between the nail that is pressing into the skin too hard. You have to be careful if you try to remove this skin to make room for the nail grooves because you can open up the skin. So be very careful and move very slowly to allow it to separate. Is that sore? Mm -hmm. It's just the spot just tender way. Oh yeah, I know. Especially after getting the nail that was pressing down into it, it can feel real vulnerable. Do your feet perspire a lot in your shoes at work, do you think? Uh, well, it's my previous job when I was a server and a banquet server. Okay. And wearing on black socks and yes. For all summer, I didn't even wear uh, shoes. Okay. flip-flops. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I just got a new pair of shoes. folded right in half. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Tell me if it feels uncomfortable. I'm gonna let that soak again. It's okay. just, if I pull it, cause it's starting, yeah, it just needs to, a little bit more. Mm. It's, I mean, it's almost okay. out of there. Okay. But while we, before that happens, I'm gonna pull it. Don't need anybody leaking today. <laughs> So we're just gonna put a little band of acrylic at the base of your cuticle to keep that width. So as it grows up, it should prevent that toenail from getting pulled under. But in order for it to work, we have to remove the pressure that's already pulling it under from out of there. The footage of me actually applying the acrylic band to this toe got corrupted, but you can see it when I you do it to the other nails. foot. Mm -hmm. no. But this is primer, and then I'm going to put the this little band primer. of acrylic at the base of the, the toenail. This helps hold the acrylic on the surface of the nail. And we might have to redo it every couple of months. Another question that I get asked often is why do I choose to use acrylic over using hard gel? It's because acrylic does the job. It holds the toenail in 
place. It is not brittle. It applies faster. It cures easier and it is less expensive. Adding the acrylic band at the back of the nail is going to hold the toenail at its widest part. Hopefully as the toenail grows it will reattach to the nail bed and stop flipping underneath and curling into her nail bed. All right, let's see if that's soft enough now. How's it feel? So we got the toenail from underneath removed. So alleviating that pressure of pulling that nail under, mm -hmm. you've got to get it removed all the way over to the very edge, which we did. And then having that band of acrylic back there will keep that nail at the width, the mm -hmm. widest. Okay. So as it grows up, it won't be able to get pulled. Okay. So that's what we're going for. Okay. Okay. I've done it with Bruce's toenails and it <laughs> works. His toenails look good. Keep it right on your nightstand. And then when you get up in the morning, just put a drop on. And when you go to bed at night, you just don't want to put it on right at when your toenails are wet from a shower because you don't want your toenails to have moisture in them. Because if they're full of water, if they're waterlogged, then the product isn't going to soak into the nail. Right, and that's what I figured with the, with the toe you working on now that it was so thick that it probably wasn't going to be able to penetrate. Right. And that is part. Of the reason why it takes so long sometimes is because the toenail is just too thick. It's only penetrating it into the first couple of layers takes longer. Well, it's definitely working because the, the toe next to the baby toe, it was full of fungus. It got it all, all you know, it was dark. You see, it's like clear, back yep. to color. Uh, nice. Well, it's definitely working. They don't need to be pretty, but I still like them to look like they really aren't there. <laughs> nice and smooth so they don't hook on anything. Mm -hmm.
not aiming very well today. I was trying to get the underneath the nail. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't had enough coffee. That's what I get away when it since I've been using that nail, my claws is it do seem like that nail is trying to attach. Oh, that's good. Back to, to the original nail. See, somebody stepped on that foot. Oh. And it never grew right. Ever. That's what started it. Yeah. That's all. So this little bit of skin, mm -hmm. I I mean, there's a little bit more that could be exfoliated, I, but there's too much tenderness right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. As long as the nail's not pressing into it, when you shower and stuff, mm -hmm. it's not being covered up. It'll exfoliate on its own, and then okay. we'll get the rest of it out of there when okay. you when you come back. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to visit my channel. People like you are the reason for my success and I appreciate it so much. But remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the latest videos. Remember it is free and I'll see you next time.